The federal government has granted the official approval for the R21-matrix developed by scientists at Oxford University. This was announced by the Director General of the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAQ, Mojisela Adai, during a press briefing on Monday. In exercising its mandate is stipulated by its enabling law, PAP N1-2004, to grant registration approval and is granting registration approval for R21 malaria vaccine recombinant adjuvanted that was manufactured by Serum Institute of India and the market authorization holder in Nigeria is Fitsin Healthcare Limited. The R21 malaria vaccine is an adjuvanted protein vaccine presented as a sterile solution. A dose which is 0.5 ml or CC is composed of R21 malaria antigen 5 micrograms and the matrix M1 50 micrograms as an adjuvant filled in a vial as that is ready to use for intramuscular injection. The vaccine is indicated for prevention of clinical malaria in children from five months to 36 months of age. That was why I was underscoring the prevalence among children. The vaccine is indicated for prevention of clinical malaria in children from five months to 36 months. The storage temperature of the vaccine is 2 to 8 degrees centigrade. Adai noted that the vaccine is to address the prevention of malaria in children from 5 months to 36 months of age, adding that Nigeria has the highest prevalence of malaria in the world with over 27% and the highest number of global malaria deaths of 32%. According to Professor Adai, a full review using the standards of the World Health Organization was carried out on the vaccine to ensure its efficacy, safety, and quality. The development comes days after Ghana became the first country to approve the vaccine, which is said to be 80% effective.